was this torchwood. Now, torchwood or Balanites genus of trees is something you're going to be seeing us talking about when we move into the Mara. One of the most prominent trees on the actual Mara plains is, uh, is, a, is a, a type of torchwood, a type of Balanites. Um, whereas here the trees that dominate the skyline are Marula and Nobthorn. They're the two trees that dominate the skyline is Boskia and Balanites. Isn't that something? And another one called the Warburgia, but we'll talk more about that when we're in Kenya. Um, this particular tree though I quite enjoy is that I always learn something new about this tree. It's called a torchwood because the seed uh, contains quite a flammable oil that burns with a nice bright yellow flame and uh, because of that oil was used uh, as a torch so a couple of seeds were put into a into a into a, um, a bundle of wood and then you light the bundle of wood and the, as the oil comes out of the seed it, it makes the torch burn a little bit brighter and longer as well but another thing is that this tree's bark is harvested and sold on markets all over Africa and um, the reason for it is that it's a um, it's saporific. In other words, it contains saponins, but not just saponins. The bark and the the, the compounds in the bark um, also uh, contain compounds which make quite a refreshing wash. So if you drink it, it's an emetic. In other words, you're going to drink it and you'll vomit. Now a lot of people um, drink emetics to clean their system. It's, it's similar to taking, I suppose, a laxative. Uh, it has the same effect. It's, it's, a, it's a cleansing function. So an emetic, uh, this is one of the trees that they use as an emetic. So they drink a little bit and while they're waiting for it to wear, uh, work, they quite often wash with the rest of the wash made from the bark. Um, you can take pieces of this bark and put it into water and agitate the water and it'll start to foam up and it leaves your skin feeling quite tingly. Um, and because of that, because of this quite refreshing wash that this tree's bark provides, um, these trees outside of the protected areas, outside of the reserves, are actually quite rare. Now, for that reason, I'm not going to collect any bark to show you how, um, how when you agitate the water, the soapiness comes out. Um, I'll wait until I find a tree that's been damaged by a storm or by an elephant or something um, before I show you that. And in other words, I'll, I'll use a tree that's already been damaged rather than damaging this tree. Um, but yes, these trees are damaged to the point where they actually are killed uh, outside here. And a lot of trees like this don't exist um, in the bush. But <coughs> excuse me, if you were going to collect uh, bark from this tree, as, it, as the legend would go, as a very, very dear friend of mine taught me, that you only collect from the eastern side. Now we've got the sun poking up uh, through the grass over here and through the trees. That is east that you're looking at at the moment. And so you only collect on the eastern side of the tree. So what they would do is they would hack into the tree with their knives, score the bark from here to about here. You'd then take your axe or your knife, you'd bash it into the wood and you'll see that a chunk of this wood comes off and then they cut it into strips and bundle it up with some grass and then that is taken to the market and sold for you know a couple of cents per kilogram I suppose or whatever the price is of Balanites wood. People would then buy it, take it home, agitate in a water, drink a mouthful of the water and while they're waiting for it to make them sick, wash with the rest of it, leaves their skin feeling nice and refreshed, leaves their tummies feeling nice and I suppose empty but also in a way purged and that, that would have an effect on your mind to let you feel cleansed and refreshed and nice and, uh, and that's what you do with torture. One of my